What's up everyone? Thanks for joining us and gaining some practice on using the change of base formula. Now we'll start off by asking a question and that question is, how can we rewrite a logarithm when the base is not 10? No, not that kind of log. Okay, so when we have a logarithm of some value x with a base of a, we can use the change of base formula if a does not equal 10 and a is greater than 1, and also if the x value is positive. So those two things have to be true in order for us to be allowed to use that change of base formula, which says that such a logarithm whose base does not equal 10 is equal to log x over log a. So the log of the x value divided by the log of the base. Okay, so it's very straightforward. So now that you're familiar with what it looks like, let's go ahead and learn how to use it. So in our first example, we want to evaluate the log of 32 with a base of 16. Now again, the base does not equal 10, so we can use the change of base formula here. So all I have to do is rewrite this logarithm as a fraction. The numerator is going to be the log of x, in this case, the log of 32, over the denominator, the log of a, the base, in this case, the log of 16. And now I can just evaluate that log of 32 divided by log of 16 using a calculator equals 1.25, or as a fraction, it's 5 over 4. Now also notice that since using the formula, we're using log base 10 now, I could have replaced log with the natural log function ln, and evaluating that still would have gotten me the same answer of 5 over 4. So you can really use either way. So here's one more example that we'll take a look at where we can use the change of base formula to evaluate a logarithm where the base is not 10. Now for this example, our base is 3. Again, it doesn't equal 10, so we can use that formula. So I'm going to rewrite it as a fraction in the numerator, the log of x. The x value in this case is 8, so we have log of 8 on top. On bottom in the denominator, we have the log of 3, the log of the base. And now I can just evaluate log 8 divided by log 3 which is approximately 1.8927, it's an irrational number. And also, same as the last example, I can, instead of using log, I can use the natural log, ln, and evaluating that will get me the same number. And that's really all there is to it. Make sure you're familiar with the change of base formula because it is very useful. And thanks again for stopping by. I hope this lesson was helpful. See ya. Thank you again, everyone, for joining us. And please reach out to us on Twitter, at MashupMath. We are dying to hear from you, so please share some love. All right, we're done here. <laughs>